Yo, I'm just going to be making a quick guide on the Nebula camo, more specifically just the 10 elite kills you need for each gun at the end of the grind. I've seen some people say just to get to high rounds and get the elite kills naturally, but I think that's very counterintuitive. Um, there's a step on Liberty Falls in the Easter Egg where you can get um, an elite, which is either a Mangler or an Abomination, but they're red, so they count as an elite no matter what to 100% spawn every round. So starting on either round 10 or 11, you can get 10 elite kills by round like 19 or 20, which is super OP. You can be finishing guns in like 35, 40 minutes. But you basically just want to stay in the spawn room here on Liberty Falls until about seven or eight. Um, just kind of want to eye it by the amount of points you have so you can open up the whole map and pack a punch but we're basically going to be doing the easter egg up until a certain step and that starts with building the jet gun so we want to grab the water valve next to speed cola and then after that you want to stay in the graveyard next to church for about a round maybe two if you're unlucky and wait for the grave digger to spawn and he'll drop the key to the tool shed once you kill him. And to the left of the graveyard is the tool shed. We come over here to get our first piece of the jet gun. And then now we're going to head to the bowling alley and do the water valve step, which is kind of a grueling step. It, um, the zombies will kind of semi spawn infinitely. Like it'll skip around and then you can get one left. You want to do that. Save up your ether shroud, and then uh, just finish the step. It's not too hard. You'll do it in about a round. You see, I skip around here, pop my ether shroud, and I finish the step. And once you do, your second piece will pop off the wall. And then you're gonna wait until round ten, um, and throw a nade at this perch at this corner of the church, and you'll know you do it when you see an explosion like that. And a bunch of dead zombies will fall from the sky, which just drops a bunch of points and salvage. And more importantly, the ether upgrade tool, which will increase the rarity of our gun for free. And we wait until round 10 because it's guaranteed to be, be blue rarity. And so as you can see on round 10, I have a double pack punch weapon with now purple rarity, which is beautiful for a setup. And so now you want to wait until around 11 or 12 to get a mangler to spawn. And you want to get him, you want to shoot his arm off so you can get the mangler arm. And then you want to take it to the convenience store next to Quick Revive. And then you want to dig up these spots on the ground and you'll get these like golden wires, which is your third and last part. So you take that to the motel and spawn on the second roof, uh, second story, I mean and build the jet gun here and then we're going to make our way to the room where quick revive is and we're going to suck up this first piece you're going to go on top of the building where the sniper is above uh speed cola and you can either do this normally or suck the piece up through the floor doesn't really matter as long as you get the piece and then you come to the church interact with this machine here and then you suck up your last piece, which just looks like a little hat thing. Make your way to the bank roof. And here you're going to build the LTG device. Uh, I had a little trouble in game here. This happens sometimes. It's kind of weird. But you just want to kill the zombies that are near you. And then build it if you have any trouble. Uh, go back to the church and grab this canister. This is pretty much the last thing we need to do before... Just killing some zombies and then our elites will start spawning. So you take the canister, uh, just whatever path you want, take it back to spawn. And you pretty much just want to drop it where I do, uh, next to this trap, but we aren't going to be using it. That's just where you have to drop it. And then you want to put place the device here and you're going to have to defend it for about a minute from the blue purple-eyed zombies that will get sucked up into the energy mine thing here. So you do this for about one minute. And at the very end of it, 
your first elite will spawn. And like I said, it can be either an abomination or a mangler, but no matter what, it'll still count as an elite. And from here on out, every round, all you have to do is come up to this machine. You don't have to do the defending part. You just come up to the machine and an elite will spawn. And as you can see on this round on 15, I get this first elite. And then I get the second elite, like the natural one that spawns. So you can you can set this up on like round 11 and be done on round 19. And once you optimize this, you can be done. You can be finishing a gun uh, in about 30 minutes. I, I, and I, I just want to spread this because I, I think this is much, much quicker, quicker than um, fucking just going through rounds normally. So I uh, hope this helps. Peace. I'll let this shit play out. You have a good one.